Hello creative friends. I think that every now and then we all need a pyjama day. These days we always go, go, go. We're constantly juggling work, family, social obligations and more. And while being busy can sometimes be fulfilling, it can also be exhausting and can completely drain our creative juices. And this brings me to the following question. Have you had a pyjama day lately? If you don't know what that means, then maybe you really need one. Yes, I do mean just staying in your PJs all day and really taking the time to relax and do something that makes you feel at peace. Maybe it's painting, doodling, drawing, or another form of art. Whatever it is, make sure to give yourself the time and space to create because it's important to nurture your creativity and sometimes the best way to do that is by simply taking a break. To me, staying in my PJs all day certainly does not mean I'm not being productive, but it does tell my brain that time ahead is all about relaxing and slowing down. It just means it's going to be Sunday morning all day. And so today I'm having a pyjama day and after having a nice mug of hot chocolate, I'm in the studio in my PJs, of course. I've opened my art journal on a spread where there's something stamped already just from a previous session where I needed somewhere to clean my stamps. I have picked a few tubes of paint with colors that I like and I'm just chilling and spreading paint with my fingers and I'm using some magenta, deep turquoise, some white and a little bit of copper. Nothing too crazy, as you can see, just having some fun. Then I'm using one of my hand cast stems just to create some quick easy marks on this painted background. And if you're interested in learning this skill, it's not hard at all and I teach a beginner workshop so make sure to click the link in the description below for details. I've gone through my stash of stencils to find one with an interesting design and I'm using a little piece of kitchen sponge to dab some paint through the stencil. I'm using the same colors I used earlier so everything's uniform and I don't need to find something else to match what I've got already. And I think it looks pretty cool already. What do you think? Now I want to add lighter colors on top of what I've got now which is fairly dark so to make sure those lighter colors will look good, I'm adding a little gesso to first block the background. So far my background is very abstract and blended so I need to add some interest. I chose a Tim Hall stencil and some gorgeous thalo green to add little circles everywhere. I'm looking through a scrapbook paper pad to find a section that will look pretty on my page and I found one in a nice sort of orangey color that I think will match nicely. So I'm using scallop scissors to add a fun border and I think that looks much better than having boring straight edges. Then next I'm going to use some gel medium to glue it and to seal it on the top. But I will also cut it in half because I don't want to have too much bulk in the middle of my art journal. I want this glued section to blend in a little more into the background because for now it feels like it's just sitting on top. So I'm adding some gesso all around and once it's dry I'm adding a little paint as well all around so your eyes won't notice the edges before anything else. To be honest this is definitely not my best work but this is a pyjama day and I'm more concerned about having fun and relaxing than trying to think too hard and force something that isn't there. The idea is not to create something beautiful and pretty and amazing, but just to nurture my creativity and just have a slow day where, you know, it's all about relaxing, nothing more. After adding some little white dots radiating across the page, I simply wrote a few words. 
in metallic ink. Why not? I wrote pyjama day. I feel happy, free, inspired because, well, I do. I'm adding a few more painted marks by dipping the side of a plastic card in my paint. And then I'll add a super easy border around the page just by spreading colors that I've used before with my fingers. Super easy, nothing complicated at all. And then I'll finish everything off with some gorgeous iridescent glitter because that makes me feel happy. And then I'm done. You know, I wrote a whole blog post about having a pyjama day and how important it is to nurture our creativity sometimes. And I also added a list of supplies and some photos. So make sure to click the link in the description below to see everything. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you could like it and comment and even subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know if you too have pyjama days sometimes.